Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Love it. I love that. Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC and today we have a build and unboxing video for the brand new F-35A Lightning II from Freewing. This is a 70 millimeter. Uh, we're not calling it the V3 of the F-35. Freewing has had an F-35 available now longer than Motion RC has been in existence. It was one of the first models they ever made and it is completely different than this brand new F-35 which we had a little bit of say in the design and we're so excited to get this thing out to you guys. Uh, as soon as possible. So in this video, we're going to do a unboxing. We'll show you how it comes out of the box and it's packaged beautifully as all free wing models are. We'll go through a spec overview because this baby is running in 12 blade in runner motor, um, which is just awesome. It's got a lot of speed for its size and just awesome flight characteristics. Um, then we'll go through a step-by-step -step build. So we'll go through the manual one by one. It goes together so simply. It's 12 screws, no glue, and you don't even have to put the decals on. They're already on, which is awesome. But then we're gonna add a little feature. I'm gonna bring out the V2 of the F-35, which I have, uh, just to show you a full comparison, to show you that this is definitely not um, a V3 of that model. This is a brand new molded F-35 for you guys. And then at the end we'll go through the features so we'll plug it in we'll do all that and we'll just show you some of the beautiful scale detail like the ram paneling all across it those gold painted there's so much paint that went into this model so much work there the front under the nose they got the EOTS that electro optical targeting system is there a lot of those nice scale details that you expect to see from a free wing model so now let's get started with the unboxing So as you can see, you got your beautiful box art. I like to save all these box arts on the free wing models. I love the way they design them, so I always save the uh, top part, but looks good. As you take it out of the box, you can see it is nicely packaged. Every piece is put in plastic uh, as you pull it out. So you got your two main wing sections, and you can see all the decals, and you can see those nice uh, foam finish, that EPO foam with that dark gray looks really really good then you're gonna pull out your two horizontal stabilizers um, and they are gigantic surfaces they already have the ball link attached and you can see a really cool feature right off the bat the plastic hinges are already installed on the horizontal stab so you're just gonna slide that into the fuselage and drive two screws in it's a really great feature so the stab doesn't have any foam hinges of any sort it is it functions on its own then you got your nose cone, you have your baggie, which is gonna have all your control rods. None of your control rods are installed out of the box. Then going into the bottom section of the box, you will see your two vertical stabilizers, which are painted up with that beautiful red Thunderbolt and that deep blue, the AF-01 flying out of Van Nuys. Uh, gave us permission to use that scheme and we're so happy they did but the beauty is those are the only two things you'd have to repaint on this model if you wanted to make it an f-35 um, to match the uh, color of the fuselage itself but you can see the servos are buried they do have servo covers two doors that cover over just held by two screws and they're already pre-installed you're just gonna have to plug in the lead and then pulling out the big fuselage it all comes it's a one-piece fuselage landing gear already included and you can just see they got all the flags on there for all the countries. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful model. We're so excited to get out of the box. Now let's run through the spec. All right, so this is a 70 millimeter EDF fan. 12 blades is gonna get it done in this model. And it has an in-runner motor, as I mentioned. It's a 2957, 2210 KV in-runner motor, brushless, of course. It is an 820 millimeter wingspan, that's 32 and a quarter inches, and it is 1,210 millimeters long, and that is 47.63 inches, so it's gonna fit in your car perfectly. It's got EPO foam, and a very nice feature already included are those upgraded landing gear. So you have the aluminum shock absorbing main struts, they're Oleo, and you have a trailing link nose gear uh, for you grass guys. She has no problem taking it off grass. You can see that in my flight review. Recommended lipo on this is gonna be a 6S, anywhere from a 3500. I flew it up on a 5000 milliamp 6S Admiral as well. So anywhere from 3500 to 5000 is gonna get it done on the battery. Now let's move on to the build. 
All right guys, step one in the build is gonna be installing your vertical stabilizers and this couldn't be easier. Again, the rudder is already installed so you can just see the little lead hanging out. You're just gonna pull the lead out of the fuselage, make sure it's plugged in. Um, mind your polarization, of course, positive to positive. Once you plug those in, then you're just gonna slide in the vertical stabilizer. Then you're gonna turn the aircraft over and you're gonna take two of the eight screws they include. These are the ones with the sharp edge on the screw. There's only two different types of screws. Eight of them are gonna be one way and the other four are for your main wing. So you're just gonna use two of these eight per stabilizer. So you're gonna drive those in and then just do the same thing for the other one and your vertical stabilizers are installed. Now next step is gonna be installing the main wing. You're gonna take that long carbon wing spar, you're gonna slide it through the fuselage, then slide on the main wing and make sure you connect the servo. Again, it's just a regular servo lead, watch your polarity. And then it tucks away into that hole and just fit it on there nicely. Then you're gonna take two of the four fat screws per wing and you're gonna drive those in. So those four fatter screws with the flat bottom is gonna be what you use for the main wing. You're gonna use all four of them here. And once you have that done, do it for the other side and your main wings are already on. Now the next step is gonna be your horizontal stabs. And this is that cool feature I mentioned earlier. You can see the hinges already hanging out. There's an easy spot to slip them in while you have the aircraft upside down. Then you're gonna take the remaining four screws, two per horizontal stab, and you're gonna drive those in. So that'll be it for all your screws when you have this complete and now all your surfaces are attached to your F-35. Now there's just one little thing to do and that's gonna be your nose cone. That is magnetically held on the nose. That'll finish it off and at this point you have a fully built up F-35A Lightning II from Freewing. Now you're gonna to have to just install your control rods. If you take a look at this page in the manual, they give you six control rods, two for the rudder, two for the elevator, and two for the aileron. The 41 and a half millimeter push rods are gonna be for the rudder and they have the white clevis attached to the end of them. The two middle size one will have the ball link end on it. Those are gonna be for your horizontal stabilizers. Then the two longer ones, again, with the white clasp, those are gonna be for your aileron. So just follow it by the book where they tell you to uh, mount them on the servos and you should be all good to go. So that'll do it for the build, guys. It couldn't be easier. Now, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the V2 F-35. All right, guys, so here we have it. We have the brand new F-35A on my left, and we have the older. This was the V2 of the uh, F-35. This has the thrust vectoring on it. That's one of the major differences. We didn't include the TV on the new one because we just didn't think we needed it at all. The way the F-22 flies, we're selling the F-35 as basically a mini F-22. Guys who like that awesome flying characteristics of the bigger F-22 are getting that in a smaller package. But some things right off the bat, EPP foam to EPO foam. I mean, you can see here, just the EPP is not as a nice a finish. The decals on the uh, original model were just, you know, from another time. We can't say it's bad because when this came out at the time, this was probably top notch, top of the line, but now we're six or seven years removed and this just doesn't get it done anymore. One of the features that the earlier version had too, uh, that I, I never like is a bottom loading battery bay and it was tough as heck to clasp. You can see the paint, it just, just getting the, the, uh, the battery in there, you're taking the paint off and it's just a real pain in the neck. Um, it had the chicken wire struts on the back, these tires that are just a little bit dated um, and just not as nice a finish as you have on our F-35 now. You can see we have the what would be the upgraded struts on older models are now included on this F-35. As I said earlier, you got the Oleo mains and the uh, trailing link nose gear and just all the other features of it obviously now we have a top loading battery hatch which is awesome you have more than enough space to get anything you want in there and like i said i fit a 5000 uh milliamp admiral in there no problem and that would be about the highest i would go i wouldn't try the new 6000 but a 5000 she flies just beautifully on and yeah, I mean, let's take a look, a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna roll out the F-35 here. And let's put this one on top. You can see they're about, 
about the same size, but this one is definitely smaller. Uh, it's definitely shorter, and it's just not as nice, uh, you know, not as nice uh, a look on it. It's a little thinner frame than the, uh, than the newer one, and you just can't beat it now. There's just no reason for this to exist probably anymore now that we got the new F35. So that'll do it for a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. Again, I just wanted to show you some of the differences. Um, and there are probably a whole lot more on here that I wouldn't get to because this also, the one main difference that you see, this didn't even have a wing spar. When this came out, this only runs on 4S. So people weren't even ready for the power of 6S yet. So it got it done on 4S, but guys have tried to put 6S on this bird and then found their wings ripping off in flight. We've seen that happen because it just wasn't made to handle that kind of power at the time. That wasn't available when this was made. But now you got nice carbon wing spar in there. This baby isn't going anywhere, so I'm gonna put this off to the side and then we're gonna go over the features of the new F-35. All right, guys, some of the great features on this. Again, let's start at the nose. So you got the removable nose cone for you guys who like to store your jets, uh, you know, nose down, which is fine, or you don't want to get it nudged in the car or anything like that. It's got two magnets, and it does have a nice piece of foam that, uh, you know, makes sure it doesn't fall off in flight, and it's got a little plastic tip. So if you wanted to keep this on and store it nose down, you should be able to do that as well. I just don't like scuffing my nose. Another amazing feature of this, obviously you got all those beautifully painted ram panels from the gold to the light gray to the dark gray, uh, the white on top, you have blue on the tail, red on the tail. There's so much paint work that went in and detailed. And they even included the EOTS, the electro optical targeting system on the under the nose of the F-35, which is an iconic feature for the F-35. And the fact that they even molded that little plastic part underneath is just a testament to free wing. They, they don't miss anything when they can so they just nice of them to add that into a 70 millimeter model i would have expected to see that on a bigger version but to have that on the 70 is just a nice feature for all you f-35 fans we got the big battery bay so take a look inside as i just talked about a little earlier but you got your ec5 connector all of the leads come like this they're all already routed underneath the battery tray and they give you all the leads in front i have the admiral stability plus gyro which now let's put the battery tray back on. Now walking around, one thing I love about this model and it came with the F-22 are these panel lines. Look at the detail of it. Alpha was excited to, and Freewing was excited to get this done again on uh, the F-35. They painted it in. Now you'll notice when you see the scale uh, AF-01, uh, they don't have all these panel lines on it. Alpha liked this fuselage so much, but we're so excited to get that that we sort of mix them together. So if guy, we just thought this was too, too good looking to add that extra paint with the gold touches on here. Um, so we went that route with it. But as you can see, again, nice decals. They're all pre-applied, so it comes out. You don't have to do anything uh, when you get this out of the box. Now taking a look at the vertical stabilizers you can see the door on the vertical stab is already uh will already be installed but a nice uh, servo cover which is a great feature then let's turn her upside down and you have easy access to your motor and your ESC, it's just gonna be two screws here. I'm gonna take it out, you'll see your 70 inch fan and it does have a cheater hole if you can look inside of that, Alex, and see the ESC in there. Got it? More or less. More or less, it's in there, more or less. We'll show you, I'm sure we're gonna do a ton of videos on it. But again, you got the main. So you do have no servo door covers, no added weight. We're just going for performance on this. We want you to just have a fast, fun jet out of the box. So this landing gear just tucks away very easily and I'll plug it in in a second. But now taking a look at the back, you also have servo covers for the elevators. Um, the elevator servos, which is very nice. Just an added minor detail. And as I said before, the way these horizontal stabs install is just too easy with the with the screws. It's so simple. And another feature too about it, which I like, these um these covers around the the landing gear, these can just be peeled back with a little tack glue. So if you ever had to get access to it, you just peel this off, and you could peel it off on the uh, the nose too. This is this is plastic piece, 
and uh, looks really, really nice. And again, just the detailing, all the nice panel lines on it, just really well done. It's such a nice mold. Um, and you probably see some of that footage here of uh, Free Wing Factory uh, when they have them on the assembly line. We're hoping to get more footage like this in more videos as we do new releases. But it's just cool to see just all the work that went into it. I can only imagine, and it's nice to see it here in front of me. So now let me turn her upside down. Let's get a battery in, and we'll do a little thrust test as we do. I don't want to blow anything out. It's funny, with the canopy on, she'll sit on her nose without a battery in it, but with the canopy off, she'll sit as most jets do. So just for this purpose, I have a regular 4000 Admiral, not the Admiral Pro. I'm just gonna get her. Four, five, six. And I don't have that mounted down yet. but there we go so you see i i haven't set up my my rates yet but if you take a look now here is the uh the book rates i flew it out a bunch of times before i even got the manual so i sort of made up the rates for those flight reviews as i went and i just had a low medium and high setting i started out with the low and medium settings but then when i got to high rate i didn't find any adverse effects i mean she is a whole lot of fun and i could totally see guys doing like a flapper on setup because there are no flaps on this model so you could probably drive it independently with the uh horizontal stabs rudders look good you got the nose steering in the front which is great there's no mcbe board in here though this is just uh you know a regular plug-in mechanism let me turn it around let's do the landing gear nice and quick in and out and up beautiful and again, you have the trailing link on the front and the nice oleos that you'd expect on the, uh, the rear gear. There we go, it's a brand new model, so just gotta work her in a little bit. But nice and beautiful. And let's give her a little power up. I'm gonna aim her away from things that blow away. Ready, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! love it i love that all the time <laughs> i love the in runner it was so much fun to fly it on there it had a lot of speed very comparable to the bae hawk if not maybe even a little faster she can get up and go and we're hoping that in runner helps all you grass guys between the trailing link you should have no problem taking off this model on any type of grass so that'll pretty much do it guys for the brand new f-35a lightning so excited for you guys to get your hands on this bird and so much more to come in the future so like share and subscribe all things motion rc facebook youtube and jump into the hobby squawk forums now you can talk about this beautiful f-35a and uh we'll see you next time